All right, guys, we are inside the 2023 BMW 760i. This is the all gas version. You do have a 48 volt hybrid system in this. 536 horsepower and 553 pound-feet of torque. And we're gonna take it for a short drive out here in the uh, Colorado mountains. I love these roads, they're so beautiful, specifically on a sunny day like this. Everything is green. It's been raining a lot here, which means that this green just popped up out of nowhere within a week, going from gray to green. It's just amazing to see that. So what do we have here? We do have the brand new BMW and we, let's go into sport. So let me adjust my seat, which you do over here with these crystal, nice crystal settings here. Everything in here is just crystal. It's so cool, but it's so gimmicky at the same time. It's an interesting approach by BMW. So let's go into my modes down here. Let's select sport activate. And you can see that it changes the um, tachometer and speedometer here. So, so everything becomes red and angry and it also revs a lot higher in sport mode it just feels fantastic driving this thing which i am so surprised by because when i look at this 760 let's go into manual it looks huge and it is huge it is a big car it has a very long wheelbase but it handles like I'm not joking, it handles like a 3 Series. It feels so nimble in the corners. And the reason for that, a huge reason for that, is because we have all-wheel steering, which, it is, which isn't something new. It's something that Mitsubishi put in their 3000 GT back in 1990. But that being a sports car with a lot shorter wheelbase, uh, I think it, the, the, the result or the effect that you can feel when you're driving these two cars. For example, the 3000 GT compared to this, you're just gonna feel it more in this car because it is such a long wheelbase that we have here in, in this vehicle. And it's so comfortable and it's so quiet too. On highways, you barely hear any wind noise. The thing is when you go from, for example, say you go from 35 to 60, you barely hear any difference in wind noise. So it's hard to tell by the road noise and the wind noise just how, how fast you're going. And I think that's some fantastic engineering by the Germans to make it this quiet if you want it to. If you want it to be loud, just put it into sport mode and you're gonna rev a lot higher and it's also um, going to be a little bit more noisy in the cabin, which I kind of like. There's a lot of traffic on this road today, so I can't uh, really push it too much. But I just wanted to give you an idea of what it like, what, what it's like to uh, drive the brand new 2023 BMW 760i all-wheel drive. You have the X drive in this one. So the gauge clusters here, we have a 12.3 inch gauge cluster right in front of us. This is the iDrive 8 system that we're used to by now if you've uh, been in newer BMWs. You also have a 14.5 inch infotainment screen right there. Uh, which, as I've said before in uh, in other videos, the integration of this is not the best integration I've ever seen. How this sits inside of the dash, it just feels a little out of place in this car, in, in all new BMWs. I do prefer the iDrive 7 a lot more than the iDrive 8, but function-wise, when you're driving it, it's absolutely fantastic. I mean, you don't think about the integration of the screen in the dash while you're driving this car. It just doesn't come to mind because you're having so much fun driving this thing on, on these type of roads that it doesn't really bother me that much anymore. I'm starting to get used to it since the functionality is so good. I do still wish that they integrated it a little bit better than this, but function wise, it is very, very good. The only thing that I would like to change here, you see down here at the bottom of the infotainment screen, the only fixed uh, functions you have here is the temperature for the uh, climate control settings. I wanna have all the climate control settings here. The fan speed, the direction of the fans and all that, uh, the direction of the air blowing and all that. But you have to go in to this menu and it looks very cluttered, this thing. You do have heated seats in three different stages. You also have cooled seats in three different stages and heated steering wheel as well, which is nice features to have. I just wish they were integrated function-wise better than what we have in this specific iDrive 8 software. So let's pop it into 
personal and just cruise for a little bit since we do have a lot of traffic today it's a saturday uh, so uh, it's pretty expected to have a little bit more cars out today we also have a pretty cool head-up display i hope that comes up on the camera that shows you the angle of the car and the revs the tachometer is integrated in these wings that you have so very cool and this can be adjusted by going into this head-up display setting here so we can have a bunch of different views for the head-up display I'm just gonna toggle through them as we cruise through this beautiful scenery here I prefer to have it be maybe not this wing setup just have it be as simple as possible which I would assume be assisted view like we have right here there is a lot of talk about this design and I totally get it but I've made a complete uh, design video on this car on my the sketch monkey channel i'm gonna link that down in the description if you want to go and check it out because i think this is as close to the e38 the most beautiful 7 series ever made this is as close to as we've gotten since the e38 i think this just looks great the only problem that i have with it is the complexity of the front end because if you look at the side of this thing if you look at the rear it's so simple you don't even have any graphics in the lower section of the 7 series anymore like we had in the previous generation and the one before that as well they cleaned everything up but then when you come to the front end everything becomes so freaking complex that that is one detail that i changed and redesigned in in the uh, the sketch monkey video uh, to just make it a little bit simplified and also change the design of the headlights the split headlights that we have it's a interesting innovative feature that we have in here with the crystal lights up top and then you have the main headlights sitting in the bumper essentially but what i want to do is just merge those two and then work a little bit with the graphics of the grills to have them be less high or tall and just stretch them out a little bit horizontally to give it that more horizontal and wide look in the front end like we have in the rear the proper bmw 7 series feeling uh, that I want to have in this car but the proportions looking at it from a side view for example I think the proportion is one of the best looking proportion 7 series since the E38 it looks fantastic also the the rear view I'm, I'm a fan of the, the rear view specifically in this 760 because we have the uh, quad exhaust in the rear it's actually dual exhaust but the graphics make it look like it is quad exhausts and it, it it eats up some of the volume that we have uh, on the i7 which is just pretty much just a bumper all the way down to the bottom here the diffuser and the tailpipes they break it up so it doesn't look as tall as it does in the i7 i really like that uh, design feature of this specific 760 the internal combustion engine version so it is so smooth and so comfortable this car and it definitely doesn't feel like a big vehicle it feels a lot smaller to drive than what it actually is with this long wheelbase that we have and that is all thanks to this engineering with the all-wheel steering uh, with the rear wheels turning in the opposite direction of the front wheels to make the turning radius a lot tighter even though they don't they don't turn a lot but just by a couple of degrees you can definitely feel uh, the, the difference having that and how much more nimble this feels in the corners so let's pop it back in sport because why not is this a car that i personally would buy no it's not this one the base price for this is one hundred sixteen thousand dollars. this one with this two-tone paint job being sixteen thousand dollars just a paint job this one is specced up to 162 thousand dollars for this car for the people who buy this car i do think that they would like they like the stuff that goes on here this crystal trim pieces with the buttons behind it and all of this weird stuff that we have the 33 inch tv in the back to me that feels a little over the top and it feels like we're um, trying to modify something that has been working well in bmw's interior for so long so it's not really my style it's a little too blingy for me but as i said for the people who want this 7 series i do think they're gonna appreciate all the bling that's in here because that's basically what they want if they say that they want this car if this was more of a carbon fiber trim and we had physical buttons or more like uh, standardized buttons in my opinion that would feel more like my style but that's not what this bmw 7 series is about so i guess this is not the car for me but i do like i do love actually the way it drives 
it's just a fantastic driving machine. It's still a great um, handling car and it's still uh, one of the best uh, drivers, big saloon cars that are out there. And that's the quick drive in the brand new 2023 BMW 760i. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you want to. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.